the lyrics are as personal as they are, then the music has to match it. And I mean, it's just, it's, it's what makes it worth it. My lease was up in January, so I'm crashing with my sister right now. But in uh, July, we're all moving in together. When we get back from this tour, I'll be getting into that house. And then July, when we get back from all the other touring, we'll all get in it together. So it'll be nice to have like a house where we're all like able to create in one environment together again. Yeah, it'll make us feel more like a band again. Because like, a lot of the time, so much of our writing has been so isolated. You know, It'll be him at home or me at home. And you know, it might seem like once that week and be like here's here's what i got and then go demo out more song or whatever yeah. and but to, being able to do it all at once we'll finally be able to write an album like a functioning normal band <laughs> so it was basically just he and i getting together and um We'd either just have riffs on our own or we wouldn't have anything. We'd come together and try to get some riffs together or just piecing songs together that way, you know, whatever we felt that day. Well, yeah, because I would come, I'd come at him with like, all right, you know, here's like this minute and a half of song that I've demoed out, but I have no idea where to go next or like, you know, how to make this riff better. Like, he's a better guitar player than me. So a lot of it would be like, here's this riff I have that I know is really cool in my head, but it's a <laughs> sloppy piece of garbage right now. So <laughs> can you learn it and then? show me what it's supposed to sound like <laughs> you know i feel like that's how some of the cooler riffs on the album came out yeah a lot of them was like me being like all right here here it is and then staring at him and making sure it was cool so. <laughs> it was nice for this one to be able to write together so mm -hmm. i think that that helped a whole lot yeah because the last album i mean it was literally just him. yeah it was literally just me so i mean this it was great having anyone to bounce an idea off of They were in the band. They just didn't I had, really. I had just joined like maybe three quarters of the way through the writing process. Yeah, like he, yeah, he did his first tour with us like as I was Pretty finishing, finishing up like it, the yeah. last, you know, the last little bits, you know, trying to, you know, tweak everything. I mean, so we went and recorded almost immediately after. So he missed out on a lot of that. And the old members, they just didn't really write or they wanted different things, you know, they into different sorts of music and so instead of trying to come together and find some middle ground they just kind of you know stepped out or whatever you so, ended up having to compromise even though they didn't want to actually have input we play this whole album all the way through pretty much on tour we won't we won't play the last one ever again probably yeah <laughs> maybe a, maybe a song yeah maybe, maybe a song it, well i've handed the mantle of seeker off to uh lizard over there the drummer and um he's so he's the boss now so if he wants to play the old album we'll play the old album yeah <laughs> you want to come say something lizard? yeah come say come, lizard, give us a closer something. as a come as, say something give lizard. us a closer as a uh, stephen hawking here. Get in here, i love um I just want to say that uh, I really love Canada. Canada's a great place to be, and um, they're very kind here. We love being here. We love being in Canada. It's fantastic. <laughs> and, uh, Stop laughing. <laughs> Dude, we're doing an interview. you got to stop laughing. <laughs>